the Confederate uniform was varied in color and sizes, and it was supposed to be a black gray sack coat. It would have gray pants and a gray hat. Although the Richmond government was could, could not afford these for all their troops, and thus only the first it was a first come first serve principle, resulting in many men wearing what just what they brought from home or what their regimental commanders could whip up. Hello there. Today I'm going to be talking about the Confederate uniform. First, we are going to talk about coats and shirts. First up is the coat. The Confederate coat came in a very varied assortment of sizes and colors. It came from the sack coat, which came in all sorts of colors. The nine button frock coat, which was long, had nine buttons, also varied in colors. The shell jacket which you can see here, also varying colors, had a lot of buttons, as much was cut down here. With most common amount of run artillery and cavalry. Shirts varied from uh, plaid and flannel, which you can see here, to white cotton. And they were used to prevent the itching of the coat. Unless the coat had lining, which you can see here, which also made the coats a whole lot hotter. Next, we are going to talk about pants, socks, and shoes. For pants, pants also varied in colors, from gray and butternut to blue and black. Pretty much depended all on the soldier wearing its opinion and what and what could they, they could get their hands on. Pants were usually made out of wool, but the men pretty much wore whatever they could find. For wool socks, not much to say, they're just wool socks. They were usually homemade and set from home, so they didn't wear away as easy as the Union issued socks, although some men did have issued socks, which were cheaply manufactured and wore away. For shoes, they were called brogans. They were cheaply manufactured, wore away in the long marches, resulting in men walking barefoot a lot of the time. For hats, we we're going to talk about the kepi, forest cap, and slouch hat. For hats, one of the most common hats was a forage cap. Came in all different colors, and this is a butternut one. It had it was made out of wool, had a cardboard circle at the top, and a leather brim. Another common hat was the Confederate kepi. It was this is a gray kepi. It was made also made out of wool, had a cardboard circle at the top, and a stiffer leather brim than the forage cap. Both the forage cap and the kepi had a chin feature, which you can see here. But that was rarely used because it was hard to get off and uncomfortable. Another very common hat to see among the Confederate Army would be a slouch hat. Here are two different slouch hats in black and brown. They had very wide brims to protect the sun. They were much lighter than the previous two hats and were more comfortable at the same time. There you have it. Almost everything you need to know about the basic Confederate uniform.